Hi, I'm Scott Fritz from Stranded on a Planet. And I'm Mark Nelson from the Alley Recording Company. And today we're in Pasadena at the Firehouse Recording Studio with Bernie Becker and his son Dale on the Need Genesis. Hello, I'm Bernie Becker, um, sitting in uh, our mastering room, Bernie Becker Mastering. I have this company along with my son, Dale Becker, and our mastering room is located in Pasadena, California, uh, at a place called Firehouse Studios, which we love. And we have our own mastering room here, we have a mixing room, and you'll see in a few minutes, there's a great A-style tracking room here, a nice big tracking room. Today we're coming to just tell you a little bit about ourselves, what we do, and we're also going to show you the Neve Genesis, which we've been a proud owner of for a little over two years. Uh, GC Pro has been great with us. Um, the original salesman that sold it to us is uh, a great guy, and uh, we think of it more like a family situation. They treat us really good. Uh, service has been wonderful. The Neve Genesis is just something that's uh, an amazing product, and I'm not big on uh, just endorsing things for the sake of endorsing them, but I really believe in this product. Um, the gentleman that designed it, obviously there were a lot of people involved, but there's one specific person, Robin at Neve, has just been uh, unbelievable. He came here when we got the console, and uh, there's a local service tech named Dave who takes really good care of us. and. Uh, we're just going to show you how the console works. We integrate it several different ways. Uh, besides mastering here, I'm also work for Neil Diamond. I'm his recording engineer in the studio, and I also do live sound with him and TV shows and all kinds of different things. But the console, the little Neve Genesis, we've got it in a road case. It travels between our mastering room, our mixing room, and also down to Archangel, which is Neil's studio. And so we use it for everything. In the mastering room here, we bring it in and we use it as a submixer to uh, put stems through and, and uh, have a, an alternate to people just bringing a stereo mix, which is great. And there's a lot of different ways to use the Genesis like that. And one of the ways we like to do it is it's as simple as hooking up a Firewire cable from your computer. Interfaces directly, great. Seamlessly, you get audio back and forth and people can come in and out. We store the settings, they come back a little later, we make more adjustments. It's wonderful for, uh, wonderful for that uh, process. Then we move it in the mixing room where we totally use it as a summing mixer. We use the EQs. Uh, it gives you a, a total amount of real estate that you never ever have just working in the box. Not poo-pooing working in the box, not saying that summing amps aren't great because uh, I've actually had owned over 10 summing amps. I, I hate to count them all, but I did take some time this morning and count the number of recording consoles I've owned, and this is number 12. I've owned 12 recording consoles. Don't recommend that to anybody, financially and for a lot of other reasons, but thankfully I have a nice wife who puts up with me, and uh, she's not paid by me to endorse the need, so she's not here today. The original reason we got the console is I was looking for a big console sound. I did several sessions around town on the new 88 console that Neve makes, and I was in love with the sound of it. I loved the way the audio came through the console and sounded being summed together. So the Genesis is that. It's 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 summing innards are, are that same analog audio path and I love that. So in the mixing mode or in the mastering room too we use it for summing and uh, today in the studio at Firehouse A we're going to actually use it for tracking. It's It's got the classic old Neve sonic signature imprint sound. It's uh, won't go into the design details because I'm not a huge design engineer. I just use my ears. I like what I like. And um, it's transparent. It's open. If you like Neve sound, it is Neve sound. It's not a new version of old Neve sound. It's, it's a brand new old Neve sounding console. So we look forward to showing you that. You're going to see uh, my son Dale. He's going to be engineering in the other room. We trade back and forth on almost everything we do here. And... Uh, double up if I'm if he's working in the studio I'm mastering if he's mixing 
then I might be at Archangel and Neil's place. But we're just uh, busy all the time, thankfully for that. And we're excited that Guitar Center would take the time to show you guys a product that means a lot to us. And I think anybody who would be willing to invest the time into looking into it, that loves audio, that loves Neve, that wants to take their whole process of working to the, the highest level that you can, you would be really pleased with this product. So Dale, can you speak for a minute about what features of the Genesis are most uh, critical to how you work? Well, uh, the tracking functionality we use today, it's like having a full two racks of gear that you'd normally bring in all in one compact, uh, one compact piece. We have uh, 16 EQs, 1084 EQs, and 16 Dynamics, and we have the upgraded, uh, the upgraded Pre's, which are new old stock transformers. Sounds fantastic. We really, on a tracking date, we really don't need anything else. Uh, one other really nice uh, uh, thing for tracking is we don't need to bring converters either. We used to uh, travel with racks converters, and these have really beautiful, pristine uh, uh, AD converters as well as DA converters for monitoring, which is fantastic. Uh, so you just plug your FireWire right into it? You can plug your FireWire into it. You can come out AES, which we do. Uh, in, like in a, in a room like this where a FireWire cable can't reach the Pro Tools rigs, we'll just do AES. and. Uh, but uh, laptop producers, a lot of times we will, um, like on a mix, I'll, I'll, I do a lot of hip hop sessions where laptop producers or EDM guys will come in and just bring their laptop and I'll kind of take it from there. They'll have made their mix as awesome as possible, you know, at home, mm -hmm. and they just bring their laptop and I plug in Firewire 400 and I have access to the 32 channels of summing, the, well, right actually there. 48 channels. I, I also have, you know, access to the, the EQs and the dynamics. The, the summing bus sounds fantastic. Um, so, I mean, just coming out through the console is a benefit uh, to their mixes without even trying. I mean, you just get the sound of the iron. Um, the, the console bends really nicely. Uh, a lot of other consoles, the, one of the things that was a big selling point for us is that a lot of the other consoles that were coming out in this format didn't, couldn't hit them hard. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's part of the sound of modern music is, 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 is the saturation, the analog saturation. And we found that this console really bent nicely. There's a real nice sweet spot if you really spend the time to find it. And uh, it, 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 in a mastering situation where, where laptop producers are bringing their mixes and, and come out through the console, it actually, the way, the way it rounds off the audio, it almost acts as like a its own dynamic device. Mm. It's not a limiter or compressor, but very it, similar to what a normal 1073 or 1081 would do. Yeah, yeah. It sat it just saturates really nicely and takes care of some of those out of control transients that'll come through in a mix. Mm -hmm. As well as it allows in a in our in our mastering situation, it allows us access direct access to the mix. So instead of instead of having a, a mix go to a bounce and then uh, the bounce coming into our Pro Tools and then going DA through our gear and then AD back, you know, all these conversion processes, there's no bounce, there's no capture of the mix. Laptop producer, or you can even bring your tower in, plug it in Firewire, will just come in and there's no uh, generation of, of bounce in DA. It just okay. is comes straight out of the DAW through the DA converters in the console. We, get a lovely sound on the console and it goes directly analog out through out through our rig. So the guys who come in, I mean, they come in with mixes that sound great and leave with something that sounds like... Twice as good. Twice as good, yeah. It's great. Can you tell us a little bit about the EQ function? Yeah, the EQ, the EQs are fantastic. You know, I found my favorite part, of personal favorite part about it, the EQs, is the bottom. Uh, the bottom is really nice, round, and it's super fast and punchy. Like you can really, at you could just do a little bit, or you can do a lot, um, and and no matter how far you turn, uh, you know turn on uh, on the low end, it it's uh, it still remains as dynamic as it was, just with more low end. You know, like some some EQs, you there's like a point at which it, it the more you add, it just kind of I don't know it it becomes less musical. Restricts the sound. Yeah, it, it's not as musical. These are musical for the, the whole range of the whole range of cu cutting and boost cool. The other nice thing about it is if there ever was a problem 
with, say, for instance, a, ch a channel on the console or a channel uh, uh, like an EQ, it's not a matter of like you can you can ship the card out. Or in one instance, we even had we had a we had a little problem with the card, but Guitar Center was there. They they had a card in West LA that they just gave to us as a loaner while the one was fixed, and okay. it turned out to be a, a real we. We weren't even down for two hours. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So. All right. Well, it looks great. Sounds great. Well, how about we find your dad and then we can get some setup sounds and start tracking before he has to take off. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Just a bit more. We're sounding good just a hair more. So what we're doing is we are... Uh, we're gonna currently just use use the uh, 1084 EQs to add some top end to the uh, overheads. So um, we're gonna probably go with a, a you know like a 10k shelf and add a couple dB. All the uh, EQs are selectable here either via the uh, via the arrows or the select buttons. So we just go between and make sure we're happy there. Like say for instance, yeah. we wanted to add the, the EQs are great on the bottom end, uh, adding bottom. So uh, why don't we add yeah. some bottom? Yeah, of the I kick? would. And the nice thing about the EQs with this, these are the direct output, the control for the direct outputs. You can come straight off the mic pre, out of the output of the channel, so you can be as direct as you want. Or if you want to insert EQ or compression, you can do that just by flipping through some buttons.
stop now. So that's it for today. We want to thank Firehouse Recording Studios, Bernie and Dale Becker, and Abbott Kinney for giving us some great music. We'll see you next time on GC Pro The Top Shelf. Visit gcpro.com for more information on the Neve Genesis console. Ooh.